Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. To create your own customized views of the contacts folder, click the More drop-down button within the Current View button group on the Home tab of the ribbon when viewing the contacts folder. Then select the Manage Views command from the drop-down menu that appears. At this point, a dialog box will appear on screen. It is called the Manage All Views dialog box. This dialog box displays all of the available views of the current folder and their associated settings. You can select any view that you want and then modify it or reset modifications made to one of the views. You can also create, edit, or delete your own custom views within this dialog box. To create a new view, click the New button to the right of the dialog box. That will open the Create a New View dialog box. Type a name for the new view into the Name of New View text box. Below that, select what type of view you want to create. Table, which lays out the information in columns and rows. Timeline, which shows items accessed over a time period. Card, which lays out the information in a card view. Business card, which displays information using an alternate card view. People, which displays a list like the People folder. Day, week, month, which shows information in a day, week, month style. Or icon, which shows icons for the items in the folder. Once you have selected your base folder view, select who can see this new view. Your choices are this folder, visible to everyone, this folder, visible only to me, or all contact folders. Then click OK to launch another dialog box where you can further customize the view. This dialog box is called the Advanced View Settings dialog box. This dialog box has seven buttons that you can click to set options for your view. Based on your selected base view type, however, not all of the buttons will necessarily be available. Clicking the Columns button launches the Show Columns dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down in the upper left corner to choose a set of fields to display in the left list. To add an available field into your new view, simply select it from the left list and then click the Add button to add it to the list at the right. You can then select the field from the list at right and reorganize its position clicking the Move Up and Move Down buttons until it is in the desired order. Click OK when you are done adding and organizing the fields. Clicking the Group By button launches the Group By dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down under Group Items By to select a field by which to group the items within your view. This is usually only used for the table style view as it will group the same values in the selected field or fields into expandable and collapsible groups within your table view. You can select up to four fields by which to group. You can also set whether they will be grouped in ascending order, meaning A to Z or 1 to 9, or descending order, meaning Z to A or 9 to 1, by simply choosing the desired sorting option at the right end of each grouped field. When you are done, click OK to set the grouping for your view. Clicking the Sort button launches the Sort dialog box. Here you can use the drop-down available under the Sort Items By and Then By sections to indicate by which field or fields you want to sort your view. You can sort by up to four fields and they can be sorted in either ascending or descending order by selecting the desired option at the right end of each field. You can choose what fields to select from in the Select Available Fields From drop-down list at the bottom of the dialog box. When you are done here, click OK to set the sorting for your view. Clicking the Filter button launches the Filter dialog box. This dialog box consists of four tabs, Contacts, More Choices, Advanced, and SQL. Click on the tab that you want to use to set criteria that will include or exclude certain items in your view. On the Contacts tab, you can choose criteria that will allow you to filter by various common contact fields. On the More Choices tab, choose the criteria that will allow you to filter by assigned categories, message statuses, message option settings, and other more advanced filtering possibilities. On the Advanced tab, use the Field drop-down to select from any of the available fields in Outlook that you want to use as a filter. Then use the Conditions drop-down to select a comparison condition and, if needed, enter the value to which you want to compare the fields value into the last text box. You would then click the Add to List button to add it into the list box above. Clicking the SQL tab allows you to create a statement using structured query language to select which items you wish to see. You can do this if you are familiar with how SQL is used within the Outlook application. When you are done creating any filters necessary for your view, 
Click the OK button to set the desired filters for your view. Clicking the Other Settings button launches the Other Settings dialog box. Here you can adjust the font display of items in your view. The content available here will change depending on the style of view that you are trying to create. Make any adjustments that you wish, and then click the OK button to apply them to your new view. Clicking the Conditional Formatting button launches the Conditional Formatting dialog box. Here you can create rules that apply selected formatting to items that match a given criteria. There are some rules already in place in this dialog box, and you can add more. To add a new rule, click the Add button at the right side of this dialog box. It will add a new rule to the list. Type a name for the rule into the Name text box. Then click the Font button to open a dialog box to set the font formatting to use on the item when the condition that you are about to specify has been met. Click OK in the Font dialog box to set the font. Then click the Condition button to set up the criteria that, when met, applies the formatting that you just selected. You have the same choices available here as you did when you set the filter for the view. After setting the criteria, click the OK button to apply it. Then click OK again when finished setting your conditional formatting. If using a table view in Outlook, click the Format Columns button to specify a display format for each field within your view. Select the name of the field whose display you wish to modify from the Available Fields list at the left side of this dialog box, and then change its settings at the right side of the dialog box. After setting the display of the columns, click the OK button to apply them. When you are satisfied with all of the view's settings, click the OK button in the Advanced View Settings dialog box to return to the Manage All Views dialog box. You will now see the name of your view shown in the list of views available within the dialog box. To apply your view, just click on its name to select it from the list, and click the Apply View button at the bottom of the dialog box. Another way to apply a view is to select the name of the custom view that appears when you click the Change View button within the Current View button group on the View tab of the ribbon. Note that if you want to modify a view that you have created, you can select the name of the view from the listing shown within the Advanced View Settings dialog box, and then click the Modify button at the right side of the dialog box. In this same area, you can also select the name of a custom view that you have created, and then click the Delete button to delete it. When you have finished using the Advanced View Settings dialog box, click the Close button at the bottom of the dialog box to return to your Contacts folder view. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.